Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? Uh, my name is Day One, aka Josh Hensley, <laughs> and uh, we're here to open up some of the new set, Ravnica Allegiance. So today we're gonna we're gonna get into that. We do have a code to use as well. Let me actually get into the game here. Here we go. Uh, let's open that code up. I forget where you can actually use the code um, since they updated the store here. Okay, right here, redeem code. Now, if you guys want to get three free booster packs of the new set, Ravnica Allegiance, all you have to do is type in play Allegiance, just like that. Okay, and then enter, and there you go. Three free booster packs of the new set. We'll go ahead and claim those. But we're not done there. Uh, we have 9,205 gems. You guys know what that means. We are going to be opening 45 packs. Well, 48 of the set total. So here we go. Are you sure you want to purchase this item? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So there we go. We got 45 packs and the Haunt of High Tower. Okay, so we got a Mythic right away. It's a 6-drop Flying Lifelink. Whenever it attacks, defending player discards a card. Whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, put a 1-1 one, one counter on the Haunt of High Tower. Thank God this is a legendary creature. Because this thing is super strong. Flying Lifelink. Whenever it attacks, they're discarding. Whenever they're discarding, you are putting a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Super strong card. Uh, we'll definitely test that out later on. But right now, it's all about the packs, right? We got 48 of these bad boys. We're gonna get, we're gonna get some mythic wild cards. We're gonna get some other wild cards. It's gonna be cool. So let's, um, we're just gonna open them one at a time here. Uh, rally to battle. Petramander. Cosine to the pit. A lot of high cost cards. Fairy Duelist. Fairy Duelist looks cool. Sort of. <laughs> it's a flyer. Scuttle Gator. Come on now. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Font of Agonies. So it's a one drop enchantment. Already I'm loving it. Uh, put that many blood counter. Whenever you pay life, put that many blood counters on it. Remove four, destroy target creature. If you tap for two. Um... It's okay, there's a lot that goes into that, though. Okay, we just got an uncommon wild card, nice. Another Petramander. Rally to battle. Uh, Thirsting Shade, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 lifelink. 2-2 uh, two, two for 3 with Death Touch. Act of Treason, okay. Orzhov Locket, alright. Uh, yeah, that... That's an okay card. 4 drop, 3, 4. Could be better. And we got a Mythic. Seraph of the Scales. It's a 2 and a white and black for a 4-3 Angel Flyer. It, gain, it can gain Vigilance until the end of the turn or Death Touch until the end of the turn. And after Life 2, when it dies, create 2 white and black Spirit Tokens with Flying. Beautiful card. All right, what do we got here? Fireblade Artist. Wow, a 2 for a red and black. 2-2 two, two for a red and black. Haste at the beginning of your upkeep. You may sacrifice a creature. When you do, it deals 2 damage to target opponent or planeswalker. This card looks really good. <laughs> Face, uh, destroy target artifact or destroy target creature with defender. Not bad, not bad. Uh, thought collapse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thought collapse. Um, counter target spell. Its controller puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. So, if we combo that with the new card we just got, the um, I already forget his name, but the one that's uh, every time he attacks, uh, they're putting cards in the graveyard, and every time they do, put a one-one counter on it. Thought collapse. So I'm seeing some potential from blue and black here. Whenever he becomes blocked, each 
creature blocking it gets neg one, neg one, so that's good for the beginning. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. You control a creature with power four or greater, you gain four life. Wow. And we got an uncommon wild card in the pack. Nice. Deputy of Detention. There's the Battlefield Exile target non-land permanent. Other non-land permanents. And all other non- with the same name. Oh, wow. So Deputy of Detention, guys. Really good. Actually, really good right now. That is interesting. Okay, let's keep going. We're one away from our uh, Mythic Wild card as well. Power defense. Uh, creatures you control get plus five and gain reach. Okay. Another Locket. A Pegasus. Plague Rite. Uh, Rakdos Fire Wheeler. Two damage to target opponent and two damage to creature or planeswalker. So red, black, and blue looks really strong. At one mana of any type that a land you control could produce. If it has a 1 1 counter on it, add three mana, and then it can adapt, which is if it has no 1 1 counters on it, put three 1 1 counters on it. Huh. Interesting. All right, there's our mythic wild card. Now we'll be working towards rare. Thirty more until our next mythic wild card. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Oligarch, vigilance, afterlife, one, two, one for two. Grotesque demise, combined guild mage looks pretty strong. The merfolk wizard. So we're getting some cards for the merfolk still. Nice. An uncommon wild card. Ooh, hello. There's a card, right? We got a Planeswalker. Legendary Planeswalker Dovin. Now, I'm not sure if this is like a really good one yet or not, but we'll see. Until the end of the turn, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a, lo a loyalty counter on Dovin. Oh, so he could he could get up to ultimate real quick. Um, his neg one ability is create a one one colorless thopter artifact with flying, and you gain a life. His negative seven is look at look at the top ten cards of your library. Put three of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. I mean, it seems kind of underpowered. I don't know. What do you guys think on Dovin? Dovin went diving. For cards. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Basilica, Bell Haunt. Um, this card looks kind of cool. When it enters the battlefield, each punt discards a card and you gain three life. Wow. That's kind of good. For a 3 4 body that's making opponent discard and you gaining three life, that's pretty solid. Uh, exile target creature with power 4 or greater. Nice. Uh, angelic exaltation. Exaltation. Yeah, I said that right. Cool. Um, whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gets plus XX until the end of the turn where X is the number of creatures. Okay. Our player shuffles their graveyard into their library. That could be good. Applied Biomancy. Interesting. Warrant in Warden. So for two, you can put target attacking or blocking creature on top of the Summer's Library or create a 4-4 four, four white, blue and, white and blue Sphinx token with flying and vigilance. Okay, that's pretty solid. Wow, we have so many packs to go through, guys. Okay, Mana Ramper. Nice. Wish he was a merfolk mana ramper. Uh, nothing too crazy in these. Block an additional creature. Flyer. Buff and flying defense there. Alright, what do we got? Thrash and threat. Her creature you control deals damage equal to 
It's power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. That's pretty good. Threat, create a 4-4 red and green beast creature token with trample. Not bad. Come on, where's the heat? Right. Eyes everywhere. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Change. Oh, that's that weird card. Strange control of eyes everywhere and target non-land permanent. So it's basically like we could take, say they have a planeswalker out. We could take that. They'd be able to scribe, but then we'd have their planeswalker. Goblin Gathering. Okay. Create more goblins. 6 5 for 5. Whatever. Carnival and Carnage. Carnage is pretty solid. 3 damage to target opponent and they're discarding 2 cards. I do like that. And what's a rare? Another font of agonies. One one goblin haste can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with defender. Dovin's acuity. Here's the battlefield. Gain two life. Draw a card. Whenever you cast an instant spell during your main phase, you can return it to your hand. Okay. We got a Goblin Defender here. So it can have haste or it can get a 1-1 one, one counter. Interesting. And we got a rare wild card. Nice. Alright, next pack. We got a high alert here. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Creatures you control can attack as though they didn't have Defender. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get to the point. Destroy target creature. Okay. <laughs> Quench. Quench is really good, guys. Counter target spell unless its opponent pays two mana. I like Quench. Sphinx of Foresight. You can reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, scry three at the beginning of your first upkeep. Um... And then it has flying, 4-4 four, for four, 4 flyer, and at the beginning of your upkeep, scry 1. I can see those actually being really strong. Especially if you get it in your opening hand. There we go, got another rare wild card. Mammoth Spider, Rampaging Rendhorn, Undercity Scavenger. Looks pretty solid. Crying Eyes, draw four, discard two for six. Eh. Sylvan Bush Strider. When it enters, gain two life. Okay. Set no mark. Enchant Creature. It's got Flash, too. It gets one one, has Vigilance. Addendum. The spell has an additional effect if you cast it during your main phase. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it during your main phase, Enchant Creature gains a lifelink until the end of the turn. Okay, and what's a rare? Biomancer's Familiar. Activated abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. And only, uh, it can't reduce it less than one mana. Next time, target creature adapts this turn, it adapts as though it had no 1-1 one -one counters on it. Wow. So breaking adapt is what that creature does. All right. Galloping Lizrog, Frog Lizard, 3-3 three, three, Trample, when it enters the battlefield, remove any number of 1-1 one, one counters from among creatures you control. If you do, put the, twice that many 1-1 one, one counters on Galloping Lizrog. Wow. Pitiless Pontiff, uh, sacrifice another creature, it gains Death Touch and Indestructible. Final Payment. Uh, pay five life or sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Destroy target creature. That's kind of good. And we got another deputy of detention, guys. Excellent. I can see those being really good. Trembled guardian or troll bread guardian rather. Uh, drill bit. Taylor. 
Uh, target repeat or target player reveals their hand. Choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Okay, nothing too crazy going on. New Merfolk. Uh, what do we got here? Thrash and Threat. Boo. Regenesis. Two target permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. Dagger Caster. When it enters the battlefield, deals one damage to each opponent and one damage to each creature your opponent controls. That could be good. Curious Oligarch. Get to the point. Uh, Jurisdic. Ixel, target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield, and it gains first strike. Eh. Wrecking Beast, okay, nothing special. Breeding Pool, nice. There's the battlefield. Pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. So we got a Breeding Pool. Breeding Pools are nice, especially for Merfolk. Right, we got another applied biomancy there. An aeromunculus. Whirling torrent. Choose one or both. Interesting. Then a courier. And yeah, nothing too crazy going on here, guys. And we got Bedeck and Bedazzle. Target creature gets plus three nag three until the end of the turn. Destroy target non basic land. Deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Eh, nothing too crazy. Bedeck is pretty good. Law Mage's Binding. Enchant creature can't attack or block, and its activability or activated abilities can't be activated. Okay, we got a common and an uncommon wild card there. A territorial boar, Regenesis. Ooh, a mythic wild card. Excellent. That's actually really good. Alright, got another rare wild card, an uncommon wild card there. Fairy Duelist. Alright, we've seen a lot of these now, so what's a rare? Ooh, another mythic. Wait. Uh Rakdos, the showstopper. Flying trample. When it enters the battlefield, flip a coin for each creature that isn't a demon, devil, or imp. Destroy each creature whose coin comes up tails. Wow. I mean, that could be good, you know, if you're building a demon deck. But even if you're not, it's still kind of cool because Rakdos could be left on the field by itself. Interesting. Alright, drill bit. Bread Guardian, Destroy Target Land, Scry 2. Uh, final Payment, seeing that. Thirsting Shade, Shimmer of Possibility. Look at the top four, put one into your hand. The rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Killbringer. When it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. It doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. That's kind of good. And we got Revival and Revenge. Return target creature uh, with Converted Man. Mana costs three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Uh, wow. Revenge. Double your life total. Target opponent loses half their life. Round it up. Jeez. That's pretty good. Junk Troller. Put turret card from a graveyard on top of their owner's library. Open the gate. Search your library for a basic land or gate card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Shuffle your library. That's pretty good. Plague Bright. Get to the point. Burn Bright. Get plus two until the end of the turn. Okay, what do we got? Precognitive Perception. Draw three cards. If you cast it during your main phase, instead scry three, then draw three. Okay, that's a pretty powerful uh, draw card. What do we got here? Another uh, uncommon wild card. Depose. Tap target creature. Draw a card. Deploy. Okay. I'll slate you guys. Read them. When it becomes blocked, deals one damage to the player or planeswalker. It's attacking. It enters. Spry 2. Riot Menace. Uh, for 4. What do we got here? Simic Ascendancy. 
Okay, it's an enchantment. For three, you can put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. Whenever one or more 1-1 one, one counters are put on a creature you control, put that many counters on Simic Ascendancy. At the beginning of your upkeep, if, sentence, if Simic Ascendancy has 20 or more growth counters on it, you win the game. Wow. I don't see that happening, though. I really don't, but it could. We got another Galloping Lizrog. People Creeper. <laughs> Gains flying until the end of the turn. Interesting. Zorius Knight Arbiter. Vigilance. Can't be... And he can't be blocked. Wow. We got an Amplifier. It's being of your upkeep. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card until the next turn. Base power becomes twice that card's power, and its base toughness becomes twice that card's toughness. Put it on the bottom of your library. Okay. Put revealed cards on the bottom. Sphinx is inside. Draw two cards. Uh, gain two life, two. Thirsting Shade. Another one of him. Gift of Strength. That's pretty nice. Gift of Strength is nice. I have the last breath. Rick's Mighty Reveler. Spectacle. Cast it for its spectacle cost. Rare than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn. Uh, when it enters, discard a card, draw a card. If its spectacle cost was paid, instead discard your hand and draw three cards. And eh, could be good. Situational for sure. We got another rare wild card there. Shocto Crab. Another adept creature. Whenever one or whenever one or more one one counters are put on shark to crab, uh, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its next untap. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Hello, a Johnny deck. Aya's Wrath. Destroy all creatures. You gain life equal to the number of creatures controlled that were destroyed this way. So, board wipe for four. Not bad. Essence Capture. Counter target spell. Put a one target creature spell. Okay. I was like, whoa. Put a 1 1 counter on up to one target creature control. That's really good. Final payment, again, Summary Judgment. Deals 3 damage to target tap creature. If you cast it during your main phase, it deals 5. That's pretty good. Clear the mind. Yep. Shimmer of Possibility. And we got Unbreakable Formation. Creatures you control gain indestructible. If it was cast during your main phase, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each of those creatures and they gain Vigilance. Till the end of the turn. Wow. Pretty good. Alright, get to the point. Pegasus, Goblin Gathering, Arrestors, Admonition. Turn target creature. And nothing crazy in this pack. Rampage of the Clans. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. For each permanent destroyed this way, its controller creates a 3-3 green centaur creature token. Interesting. Forge Mark. 2 damage to target creature. If it would die, exile it. Nice. Pin Street Dodger. 1-1 one, one Haste. Uh, biogenic upgrade, distribute three 1-1 one, one counters, one, two, or three creatures, then double the amount, the number of one, oh, that's really good. <laughs> Angel of Grace, another mythic, guys, what are we looking at here? Flash flying when it enters the battlefield until the end of the turn. Damage that would reduce your life total to less than one, reduces it to one instead. Um, exile Angel of Grace from your graveyard, your life total becomes ten. Hey, not so sure about that one. Seems good, but 
I don't know. Wall of Lost Thoughts. Defender, when it enters the battlefield, target player puts the top four of their library into the graveyard. Rafter Demon. Uh, spectacle for five. When it enters the battlefield, if its spectacle cost was paid, each opponent discards a card. Put Light Fiend. When it dies, it deals one damage to any target. Nice. And another Sphinx of Foresight. I do like the Sphinx of Foresight, guys. Try the Carnarium. All creatures get 92 92 until the end of the turn. Exile all creature cards in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. If it would die in this if a creature would die this turn, exile it instead. They'll target a creature with power three or less. A caretaker. Tap and untap creature you control at one mana of any color. Okay. And we got Blast of the Guild Pack. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one plus one. That's a merfolk card. <laughs> Don't even care. And another rare token there. Genesis. The Ruly Caretaker. Stages Row Savant. Rakdos Roustabout. Burning Tree Vandal. And what are we getting? Cinder Vines. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, Cinder Vines deals 1 damage to that player, sacrifice it, destroy target artifact or enchantment, it deals 2 damage to the permanence controller. Not too shabby. Carnival. Zerta Goblin. Interesting. Fear Spewer. Killbringer, nice. Play juggler. Blood crypt, nice. Tap lands, I love them. Or pain lands, excuse me. Pain lands. Consecrate, bankrupt in blood. Sacrifice two creatures, draw three cards. <laughs> Oh, that, that Bali could be really good. Another Sphinx of Foresight, guys. Are we going to get a place out of those? We're at three. Consecrate. Exile a target card from a graveyard. Draw a card. Uh, and then consume. Target player sacrifice creature with the greatest among power creatures they control. You gain life equal to its power. Nice. Can be blocked by tokens and our rafter demon, uh, bankrupt in blood, yep, and bedeck and bedazzled man. Wilderness reclamation, David smash, scuttle gator, draw four cards, discard two, catacomb crocodile, and we get electro dominance. Really good card here, guys. Um, deals X damage to any target. You may cast a card with converted mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Really good card, guys. Watch out for that being countered, though, because it'll be real pricey. Um, real nice card, though. Real nice card. Love Electro Dominance. Let's you do damage and cast cards. What don't you like about that? Prowling Caracal. Another summary judgment. What are we getting? Another Dovin. Dovin's ability seems underwhelming to me. There's another mythic wild card though. Sand creature is defender and loses flying. Okay, we've seen all these. Uh, this one enters the battlefield, deals two damage to each opponent, and you gain two life. Okay, and we're getting a hollowed fountain. Nice, another pain land. Now the last breath. Okay, believe we've seen all these.
Nice, another mythic. Hydroid Crassus. It's a jellyfish hydra beast. When you cast a spell, you gain half X life and draw half X cards. Round down each time. Huh? Oh, okay, there I see. There's the X. I gotta tell Jordan there's a, a a jellyfish hydra. Interesting. We could throw that in the merfolk deck just to be a, a troll. Here's battlefield that deals two damage to target opponent and yep. Growth Spiral, draw a card. You, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Really good card there. Love Growth Spiral. Revival Revenge. Oop. Entry Dodger. More uncommon, uncommon wild cards. And what do we got? Ooh, Merfolk. A uh, benthic biomancer. Got adapt whenever one or more one one counters are put on them. Draw a card, then discard a card. Could be good. Okay, consigned to the pit. Titanic brawl. After demon. Okay, all that good stuff. Another mythic, Seraph of the Scales. I think we already got that one, though, guys. We did. So, there you go. <laughs> I alert. Nice. What do we got here? Thank you. Of the old ways, you can't cast non-creature spells whenever... You tap a land for mana, add one mana. Okay, so it doubles your mana pool, but you can't cast non-creature spells. Great. <laughs> Another rare wild card. Uh, we're 24 pack, packs away from our next mythic. Ill-gotten inheritance. Oh, so it gives you a life each turn. Gives you a life each turn and deals four or uh, deals one damage to them. Okay, we got rare wild card. X pack. I think we can just go for the uh, the rare now. Godless shrine, very nice. I'd like another blue-green pain land if I could. Junk Troller, bring to trial, exile target creature with power 4 greater. Okay, what do we got? Another unbreakable formation. Uh, Sunder Shaman, can't be blocked by more than one creature. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment. That's pretty good. A 4-drop, 5-5, five, five. can be blocked by more than one creature. If it deals combat damage, destroy target artifact or enchantment. That's pretty nice. Another growth spiral. And another giant jellyfish hydra beast. That's pretty cool. I like that mythic. Each opponent discards a card, you gain three life. That's another really good heart card. Open the gates, nice. A mythic wild card, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Thank you. Two mythics in a row, technically. We're gonna build a good deck with these wild cards. What do we got? Ooh! Another mythic. That's three mythics in a row, by the way. Sacrifice another creature. You search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrificed. Sacrifices creatures mana cost. Jeez, I can't talk. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. <clears throat> Pretty good. 
pretty good. Gotta yeah, know your deck well, but pretty good. Another rare wild card for us. Tap all lands you control. At the beginning of your instep. Oh, that's so good. Wilderness Reclamation is so good. I gotta tell Jordan about that. Cult Guild Mage. Um, that seems pretty good as well. Another Sphinx of Foresight. Yes, we got the playset. All those are so good. Macrobe Mockery? Oh, jeez. Put target cre the art on that. Put target creature card from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It gets plus two. Sacrifice it. Okay. Collision Colossus. Six damage. Target creature with flying. Target creature. Good. Okay. That's actually really good. That's a really good. Collision Colossus. And Precognitive Perception. Nice. Another draw card. We have no more packs to open. Oh, oh geez. Alright, let's get packs. Um, I really want to just go back to... Oh, how they have the store set up is weird. Their beard is weird. Why is it only... Oh, that's her up here. I just want one Guilds of Ravnica pack. Just one. Been good. Deadweight's pretty cool. Guy Knight Legionnaire, not bad. Take heart. Card. What do we got? Uh, Chamber Sentry. Eh. Alright, guys. Uh, let's see how many. We got 4 Mythic Rare, 8 Rare, 19 Uncommon. 12 common. We should be able to build a really good top tier deck. Um, I'm thinking either is it Drake's or Golgari. So let me know. Um, we'll get to playing a really good deck soon. Um, I might wait a little bit and see how um, things develop. But yeah. Um, Thank you guys for watching the opening. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on Twitch at Day One Plays, but that's Day One Plays with a Z on Twitch. And then you can follow me on Twitter at Day One Plays with an S. But make sure you subscribe. I'll be playing some more Magic the Gathering tonight on Twitch. So head over there. It's Day One Plays with a Z. I'll see you guys later. Peace.